Linus Torvalds announced the latest release of the Linux kernel with Linux 6.16. And despite Linus himself referring to it as a nice and calm release with no big showstopper surprises, it comes with a, a lot of new features and additional hardware support and performance improvements and quite a bit. So what's new with Linux 6.16? So the features include a major performance boost for OpenVPN users thanks to the new data channel offload driver uh, being upstream to the kernel. Also, there is, and I quote, there's some reports saying that it's stupendous performance improvements for Extended 4 or EXT4 thanks to large folio support for regular files. This brings massive performance gains with the kernel test robot reporting over 37% improvement on large sequential I.O. operations. Also, atomic write support has been added for the XFS file system with stronger data integrity guarantees. And also, initial support has been added for NVIDIA Blackwell and Hopper GPUs inside Nuvo drivers. Although, don't expect too much performance out of these because the Nuvo drivers are limited in terms of like the open source reverse engineering aspects. NVIDIA is not a big fan of open source when it comes to their GPU drivers. So you still will probably need to get the proprietary drivers if you have anything uh, relatively new. Uh, also, Intel's advanced performance extensions are now ready to use in the kernel. Five-level paging is now unconditionally enabled, allowing up to 128 petabytes of memory instead of just the measly 256 terabytes. Uh, and also... Intel Trust Domain extensions bring hardware-level memory encryption to KVM virtual machines, um, preventing an, a compromised host system from viewing virtual machine memory, as well as many more, including hardware-wrapped encryption keys have been added, allowing file system encryption keys to be stored in dedicated uh, security hardware instead of memory. Uh, plus, we also have some improved hardware support with the Apple Magic Mouse 2 for those who for some reason like the Magic Mouse, even though when you charge it, you have to turn it upside down. It's weird. Also, game controller support for the Acer Nitro M NGR200 and the BioWave Proteus has been added to this latest version of the kernel. And also, suspend and resume support has been added for the Asus ROG Ally, as well as many, many more features. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out the links in the show notes for the full list of everything because there's just way too much to cover and uh, we're just going to leave it right there.